as you can see, I got a new profile picture. And I must say, it looks pretty cool. <clears throat> What's happening with Flaggy on the internet? I'm Tian coming at you with a bit of a different video. Um, this time I'm doing a bit of a um, update slash vlog kind of video, similar to what Michael MGF does on his second account, MGF Extra. Something I've been wanting to kind of do for a little bit, you know. Um, I can film these randomly, you don't really have to edit too much, add some music. And then I'm just, just, you know, guess show you some updates and minifigures behind the scenes on some stuff. And that. So, depending on how this video goes, let me know what you think and I can do more of them. I know I used to do, like, update things a while ago. But, you know, this time I'm not strictly keeping to the updates. I can vlog and share my thoughts about stuff. So, um, yeah. You know, because I'm at home all the time now. Except for when I'm working, like, two days a week. Sometimes three days a week. Other than that, I'm like home most of the time. I can just show you some stuff that otherwise wouldn't really be in like a showcase video or cosplay video or, you know, anything like that. Um, so yeah, I don't know really what time it will, like these each will go for. They'll be different, but yeah. Um, you know, I think most of it will be handheld. Sometimes I will have a stand or something. So, uh, first up, um, new profile picture. Uh, you might have notice that let me actually get it up on the screen here um new profile picture is up um well oh, i just got it um it's actually done by the same guy i actually bought the daredevil nightwing and robin pieces off of uh levi Kleeman. go check him out below i'll leave a link to his instagram um he does really amazing pieces uh you know he's done like hellboy and you know just heaps of different artworks and stuff so um, he actually does commission, so I messaged him about, you know, oh, can you do this commission? Um, I want to kind of do it for a new thumbnail for my YouTube channel, which I also use for my Tion Customs, oh, Tion Cosplays Instagram, which I've also done for that. Like, I put it on there as well, since it's a cosplay. You know, it's like, I want to have my Robin cosplay. I'm actually doing updates to the Robin cosplay. Uh, we're using this uh, motorcycle armor vest, and he's like, yep, cool. I'll actually add that so yeah it looks really cool uh, really accurate um the gauntlets are actual gauntlets not motorcycle armor so that actually looks really cool i'm actually incorporate that into my new robin cosplay um and he actually got my likeness pretty well so if i actually turn it actual around. um thumbnail looks really cool it's got the actual you know tactical gloves accurate you've got the motorcycle armor here um he did use just a classic tim drake uh, there, which is fine. It looks great. Um, it's just personally on my cosplay, I am using a gunmetal R without the circle. Or I may make a circle depending on how it fits, but I do have a gunmetal R. But you know, that's okay. That's a small thing. Um, nevertheless, I absolutely love this piece. I actually have it as um, my background on my laptop now. Um, I just love it. I uh, say so yeah, I've got it added to. My YouTube channel, so that's pretty cool. Um, Avengers Endgame. Um, I saw that um, oh, last th Wednesday and Thursday. I saw, I think, the opening day. It was like up at Hoyt with friends. Um, with like at 7.15, saw that. And then I saw it the next day at like 1.30 with family. So, yeah, um, I absolutely love the film. Honestly, I am... I am going to be doing a ranking video uh, again or live stream with uh, a friend of mine. So that should be up soon. He just needs to see Endgame. I think Captain Marvel. So, but other than that, yeah, we will definitely do that. It should be fun. I'm looking forward to doing that. So I'm just going to do quick thoughts on the film now, like a non spoiler review, I guess. And then later on, if you want, I can do a more spoilerous review or do a live stream discussing it or something. But, uh,. I really enjoyed the film. I thought it was really well done. The Russo brothers knocked it out of the, out of the park again. Kind of sad that they're leaving because they probably have the best films out of the MCU. Uh, you know, starting with Captain America Winter Soldier and doing Civil War, Infinity War and Endgame. So, yeah, I think they did a really great job. I love what they do with the characters in the films and stuff. Uh, so, you know, all the actors were great in this film as well. Uh, I can't really pick a standout, they're all really um, great actors, you know, all, their acting was all fantastic, you know, uh, the storyline was really good, the last 
act was fantastic. Again, I'm not going to be doing spoilers or anything, but, uh, yeah. And, you know, CGI and visual effects in it were, uh, really well done. The only real complaint, which, again, not doing spoilers, um, it's just a couple of the characters. Uh, that's the only really the complaints I have. Just how they did an approach on two of them. One of them's not as bad. You know, after watching it a second time, you know, it's a lot better than what I thought, but still, I'm not a big fan on how they took that character. But for another character, I don't like it. I don't like it. I get what they're trying to do. I think two of uh, their scenes were funny. Um, other than that, I really don't like what they did with the character. So, I'm not, again, doing spoilers, but if I have to rank it, it would probably be 9 out of 10. Because, again, only really the problems I have with it is just two characters. One of them's not as bad, but, yeah. Um, but, yeah, so, speaking of Endgame, uh, I'm actually recording this just after, or well, not on after. I did the post, but, um, I did it, oh, 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 that's right, I'm hooked up to, to a monitor thing at the moment, um, had a, something happen the other day, so now I'm hooked up, you know, again, like, oh, I'm hooked up to a whole again, like, an ECG for 24 hours, uh, so, yeah, um, just monitoring my heart for some stuff. Make sure I'm all okay, so yeah, that's fun. I uh, had to get a few tests, like blood tests and stuff, but yeah. Um, so I'm gonna show you some working progresses uh, related to the Marvel um, stuff. I'm, some of them you have seen in the Captain America video, but I'm just gonna show them again, talk a bit more about them. So the first up is Captain Nomad or Captain America. Great figure, I did a showcase on this. I am doing a version two though. Uh, what I will be doing is um, after seeing some customs of Endgame um, Captain America minifigures, I've decided I want to start adding some sculpts to it because I was never really a big fan of the sculpts on Captain America at all, but seeing some of the customs I've seen, um, like Super Chris Productions, um, with his sculpts, he sculpted Mark 50 Iron Man, um, I'm as Mark 85, Thor, all these different characters, and he does commission, so I've actually commissioned him to sculpt me the end game Captain America torso and arms, um, the Infinity War Thor torso, and I'm also getting the Mark 50 Iron Man sculpt, the torso, arms, and legs, and then Mark 85 torso and waist piece. So I'm getting those sculpts in soon. Um, so at the moment, this is actually what I do have for the Mark 85 for end game. Uh, you know, I want to keep the legs and arms because I do like how they turn out. I'm not too big on this torso design. So I will be, you know, scrapping that torso and using the new torso design from um, Super Chris Productions. So, uh, yeah, I I will be using that as a base. Um, but yeah, so back to Captain America. I will be sculpting my own torso. I'll, I'll probably be using... Uh, the official Infinity War Captain America as a base, you know, just keeping that there and I'll just sculpt over the chest and um, I'll probably reuse those. I'll reuse these arms and whatnot just to, you know, have like an updated version of them. Um, other figures which I am working on, I'm working on Guardians of the Galaxy, you know, uh, I got Volume 2 slash Infinity War style, which is probably my favourite look. Star Lord, uh, this jacket, otherwise with a, jet, a trench coat. Uh, so I just need to do his arms, which are turning out pretty decent. So just gonna add some more designs and stuff on there, and he's basically done. I started on Teenage Groot, so I've actually started carving out different bits and pieces here and there, just going random. Just need some green and just to add some other detail. And then other end game minifigures I'm working on is I started Rocket Raccoon. Got the base for the torso and stuff painted. Pretty nice. I uh, used like a to me a medium blue. So I think that worked the best. And I've also got Stealth Suit, which I'm also gonna be doing a updated torso and arms sculpting on the chest and that. So I'll probably use another 
uh, Lego official Infinity War Captain America as a base and you know just approve upon this so I'm, I don't know, I don't know what, what I will do with this one. I'll, I'll finish this figure and then do a version 2. Uh, I just want to see what it looks like once it's done. And then what other stuff? So yeah, I am doing other minifigures. Um, I'm also doing Silver Centurion. So I am actually doing, if you saw my post, I will be doing a spin-off kind of showcase, um, like showcases for the Iron Legion from Iron Man 3. So I've got the Silver Centurion. Um, and then I've also got Heartbreaker. Now what I'll be doing with this Heartbreaker is Breakthrough Army don't sell the blank casts anymore it's only painted versions so what I'll do is I'll probably paint this into the tank armor it was I think a couple of armors after uh, the heartbreak armor I think it's like brown and gold or black and gold I think it's brown and gold actually so I'll, I'll paint it into that armor just adding some black and whatnot and then the breakthrough army painted up um, armor set I will uh, use as the heartbreaker I'll probably just leave it as is or maybe add some of my own paints whatnot but um, yeah uh, I'll do that and then mark six I'm working on so I'm just gotta do a metallic gray um, base coat and then go over in my red paint as it gives off a really nice metallic red look so doing that. Then I also have these old armor pieces based off the Mark 42, so this is going to be 43. So that's the base coat I do. I do the red over the top and it just works perfectly. And I also have the Mark 43 somewhere. Uh, here it is. So I have the Mark 42, 42, sorry, not 43. Mark 42 out of the gold, just going to do touch ups and finish it off. And then I'm also doing the Mark 45. So what I'm doing with these, as I have actually ordered some Clone Army Customs Iron Man torso pieces, which I'm gonna start using in Customs here on out. And I'm gonna make the Mark 42, 3 and 45 out of that. And then these armor pieces I'm gonna send to a friend of mine. Um, so I'm just gonna finish up the custom Iron Man figures and just send him three Iron Man figures. Uh, so, yeah, he will get that, and then, um, you know, I'll make new ones out of the Clone Army Customs armor pieces, which I really like the look of them, you know, they work perfectly for the Mark Seven, which is what they're based off of. I've ordered eight, which are the Mark Seven armor, so it's red with the Mark Seven printing. Order one, which is black and yellow, which I'm gonna use as a base for the bone suit, so the Mark 41. And then I also order one, which is you know the red but it's got the mark 5 printing on it it's, you know the armor is modeled after the mark 7 but i'm going to be turning it into mark 5 so i'll be doing that for that figure and then for the mark 2 3 and 4 i'm going to use a break army or breakthrough army um iron man mark 2 mold which i'll leave um you know paint silver and stuff for mark 2 but then i'll fill in all the different little um screw holes and stuff with um, Procreate and turn that into the Mark III, which I'll heavily battle damage since in the display um, in Iron Man uh, 2 and 3 in the background, you see like the Mark III will battle damage. So I'll do like a darker red and just some damage here and there. And then for the Mark IV, I'll do, you know, all clean and pristine and stuff. So um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing that. So yeah, I'll just go to order the Breakthrough Army armors first and then or soon and then I'll do more clone army customs and stuff so and what's really cool too is with some of the uh, Iron Legion from Iron Man 3 a lot of them do have a similar you know um, Mark 7 torso armor like the Mark 8, Mark 9, Disco armor other armors have basically the Mark 7 um, torso, but then the arms and legs may be different. Like I know the Disco suit has like a War Machine type helmet, the Mark 7 torso, and the Heartbreaker legs. And I'm not sure about the arms, but um, yeah. So I will be doing multiples of those, but yeah, so I am going to go through and do different uh, MCU showcases. 
they're not all gonna be in order. I'm not gonna go Iron Man 1, Iron Man 2, Captain America, all, all in all like that. I'm gonna do it differently. So first off, will probably be Endgame, maybe Spider-Man Far From Home, and then, you know, I may do Avengers 1, and then maybe Iron Man 1. So it just really depends on when I make the figures and stuff. So these are figures I've been wanting to do for a while, just never got around to doing them. So I am gonna be working on them. Eventually, I do need to finish my Uncharted 2 minifigures. Um, I've got this guy basically finished. I, all I really need to do is add a magnet uh, to the AK-47. And he's done. I'm um, just going to keep him clean. I may do a little bit of dry brushing here and there, but this guy's done. All I need to do is add a magnet. Um, and then that guy's done. And then got Elena. So she's done. Uh, may give her a pistol. Other than that, she's just a really simple minifigure. And then Chloe. Just going to add some more details to her. Add the harness. And then just add some weathering here and there. Get a face and hair. And then she's done. So she's about halfway done. Then I just got to do Flynn and Sully. And then that's done. Uh, I don't know if I'll do Lazarevich, depending on how I feel. Um... But yeah, so I may or may not make him. Uh, so, the Sun Charter 2. And then after that, after that, I actually got a comment on my Captain America from Infinity War showcase. Will I be doing a tutorial on how I made the electrical tape harness? Great question. Uh, what I will be doing is after the Uncharted 2, so hopefully I'll do that soon, is I will be making Uncharted 3 minifigures. So here is my Nathan Drake which is based off the first half of the game, you know, France, and then when he goes and saves uh, Chloe and, oh, I forget his name, but the other guy, you know, saves them, and he's still got the green shirt. I really like this look for uh, for Nathan Drake, and this was actually originally my Uncharted 2. I painted this color, then I real I painted it this color, then I realized it was the wrong color, so then I started on the Uncharted 2 version. So I still will be doing this. So we'll be doing a tutorial on how to make the harness using this as a base, as well as one of my Captain Americas, because they are very similar in how to make them. I'll just do a harness, you know, Captain America and Nathan Drake harness, or, you know, torso holster. And then that way people can follow the tutorial and, it, you know, use it for their Captain America or Uncharted minifigures, so. I just thought I'll knock out two birds with one stone for that. So, yeah, that will be coming soon. Not sure when. It'll be sometime after Uncharted 2. So once you see the Uncharted... Can't speak now. Once you see the Uncharted 2 showcase go up, then sometime after that, maybe a couple weeks or maybe a week after that, I'll do the tutorial just as long as I have a Captain America ready uh, for it. But, yeah. Um, other minifigures I've been starting and working on is I'm working on Game of Thrones minifigures. So I've got Jon Snow and his Night's Watch. Um, again, like similar to Marvel, I want to go back and make different Game of Thrones characters. So I've got Jon Snow. Now, some people may have a problem of me using a Damien Blade. I actually think the Damien Blade is perfect for Long Claw and that. The Damien Blade is actually what would be the most accurate size blades for most of the um, minifigures. Uh, or most of the swords, because Damien Blade is like a normal length of a sword. You know, Long Claw isn't a long sword. Long Claw is like an average size sword. So this will be like, you know, just as uh, big as, you know, around the same size as Rob Stark's sword. Yeah, so in the show. So like I even have replicas and Jon Snow is very similar like, in size to Oath Keeper. So... Uh, yeah, the Damien Blade's perfect. And then by giving Ned Stark the Claymore, this makes it more accurate as, you know, Ice was a huge sword. It probably sounds all wrong, <laughs> what I'm saying, but, like, Ice is, you know, like, a huge sword. It created both Widow's Whale and Oathkeeper. So, you know, by giving everyone Damien Blades, then, um, you know... It looks more, like a little more accurate to how it does in the show. So, some people may have a problem. I don't care, <laughs> to be honest. It's just, you know, it looks more accurate. So, yeah, 
and then there's Ned Stark. All I need to do is add a belt and he's done. Um, I decided to give him this cape as I thought it was pretty cool. Um, he did wear it a few times. So this is basically what he wore when he first arrived in King's Landing. He wears, you know, this outfit a fair bit, but he wore this cape like twice or three times. But it's different, you know, a lot of characters have a cape like that. And then also working on a new Robin minifigure. So can't wait to finish this and then I'll change my t Customs thumbnail to this. So uh, this is, you know, kind of inspired from my new Robin cosplay. So I am still working on the t verse, but just not as much. I'm more into the MCU at the moment. So yeah, I am making minifigures like Again, I have been on a bit of a hiatus um, with making them because I wasn't as, you know, wasn't as, you know, interested or I had to customize this block. I haven't really been feeling up to it. So when I do Spider-Man Homecoming, I'm going to modify this a little bit. I may just fix up the helmet. May not do anything to this guy yet. I don't know. Still a pretty snazzy figure. So, yeah, that's basically it for that. Um, just showing you some figures that I'm working on. And whatnot so uh yeah oh, let's get back down over here there's nothing too new with the transforms customs they just go up there but uh yeah so i don't really think there's anything else um again end game was great um nine out of ten um i'm kind of i'm interested to see far from home and what happens in that like in the aftermath of end game um, and then I think after that, Marvel's having a bit of a break. I think I saw somewhere they're gonna have like a year off for the next film or something. So, which is, you know, I guess kind of good because it gives us a breather uh, for Marvel for a little bit. As it, you know, I think last year we got three MCU films um, within the year. So, you know, it gives us a bit of a breather. Uh, so, yeah. But yeah, so other than that, I think that's about it. So thanks again for watching this um, video. Again, these vlogs slash updates, you know, will be different. You know, it won't just be me showing you updates. I'll just vlog things, give my thoughts. You know, if a trailer comes out, you may see my, I may talk about the trailer and what I think and stuff. So uh, yeah, it's just a fun little video I've been thinking about doing for a little bit. So. Uh, originally I was going to be doing like a day vlog so I may be doing one day a fortnight or something doing um, a vlog wake up you know just do a day of what would happen in a fortnight and then do that but I think these will be better it'll be like whenever I want to upload them so I may get two a week you may get once a video a month or something you know just whenever I feel like picking up my phone film a, a vlog slash update and then do that so uh, you know, the quality isn't really the best as it is my face cam on my phone, but it's just really the easiest way to do one of these, in my opinion, so, um, yeah. Other than that, thank you guys for watching the first update slash vlog thingy. Um, I'm hoping to do more again, you know, just show you a bit more into my life and then, you know, behind the scenes of things and get more thoughts out there and stuff, so... Yeah, um, other than that, come like, subscribe, share for more. Make sure you check out Levi Kleeman on Instagram. Um, he did my new profile picture and it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> so yeah, go check him out. He does amazing pieces. But other than that, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, which I have no idea what it will be. Okay, bye.